Good morning, everybody. I think I'm live. Oh, I'm really, really, really nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I put myself through this. I honestly don't. I was lying in bed last night, unable to sleep, and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a live stream haul video of all that stuff I bought on Monday. I put a vlog up yesterday. And so if you can see it's moving about on the chair. Um, oh, God. Calm down, Caroline. Calm, calm. Right, okay. Um, yes, so I put a vlog up yesterday and I mentioned that I'd been to the charity shop on Monday, my favourite charity shop, and bought loads and loads of stuff, um, clothing and footwear, and lots of people said they'd like to see a haul. And I'm having a busy week, which I also mentioned just then. I thought, God, it'd just be so much easier to do a live stream than it's people can watch it at the time if they want to or not watch it. And yeah that's then they can watch it later on or whatever and it's just much easier than filming it and editing it and uploading it and it takes less time but yeah i am feeling ridiculously nervous about it I've done so oh when it says five viewers as well so that's scary i think the chat should be open on the right um let me just say have i got the sound muted yeah the chat's there so if you want to say hi that would be nice it would make me feel a bit better or ask any questions or anything that's fine anyway so yes it's a whole video i am um, I, I even sound nervous to myself i'm gonna try and calm down a bit right whole video yes i went to my favorite charity shop on monday and i have quite a nice relationship with the manager there she's been off long-term sick for several months and only recently come back and um she used to let me go up to the stock room, um, not as a matter of course, but she would say, oh, sometimes I'd go up and have a cup of tea with her. I only know her from going in there. And um, we, as I say, yeah, we have this quite nice relationship. So um, it was nice to see her on Monday. And she said, oh, got some lovely shoes upstairs. Go and have a look through the boxes upstairs. So off I went. It was all oh, like Aladdin's cave. And um, I spent £58 and I'm surrounded by stuff. So I'm going to show you everything I bought, I think. Um, I'll start with the shoes. And yes, let's do that. All the shoes were 99p and all the clothes in that particular charity shop are 199 So let's start with shoes. And the first one I've got, God, I'm falling off the table now, are these boots. They're, it says 199 on them, but they're actually 99p. Um, lovely leather and fur lined which is ridiculous in august isn't it but um, soon enough be time to be listing all these nice wintry things and they are by rika oh i don't know if you can see it rika the german brand um just they, they look as though they've hardly had any wear these they're absolutely beautiful they're suede and um sort of that really soft leather up here the patchworky stuff and um, I think I'll probably list those for like £40 or something like that, maybe even 45 50 I need to look at prices. But um, sorry if I'm not looking in the camera. I feel like I'm looking down. But um, it's different filming on the webcam from filming on my normal camera. So I must make more of an effort to look into the actual lens and not at myself on the screen. So apologies if I look as though I'm all cross-eyed and odd. Anyway, yes, that was those. I'm out of breath. I'm still nervous. Oh, I'm OK. Right. Oh. Sorry, messenger. Let me just turn that off a second. Right, next I've got these little ankle boots. These are by Next, and I don't think they're actually leather, but this sort of um, Western style with the um, sort of almost like cowboy boot style, but shorter ones, um, they always go well. These do actually need healing. They're quite low on the heels there, but for 99p, there's definitely money in those, even if I only list them at like, 10.99 or something plus postage that somebody will buy those but obviously i will have to mention that the heels are low there but um, yeah i was pleased with those and then a pair of adidas kids football boots quite muddy they need um they're the predato ones i sell quite a lot of these um they need a wash in the machine actually i put these in the machine and they come up really nicely obviously i scrape all the mud off first you know the main bits of mud but they do come up nicely in the machine you don't even have to take the laces out if you put them inside a pillowcase or whatever anyway yes still feeling nervous still talking very rapidly i'm aware i'm doing it so sorry <laughs> but yeah do something every day that scares you they say and i'm certainly scared 
Next, these next these shoes are from Next as well. See what I did there? Um, ladies sort of almost a wedge, but not quite peep toes, sling backs. They look as though they've been worn maybe once. They've still got their price tag on from the other charity. The, this charity shop gets all the rejects from the other charity shops in the group, and they were originally priced at 349 Nobody bought them at that, obviously. But yeah, they look only worn once, though, so they'll definitely go there, sort of a blue suede. Um, these are actually brand new. They're horrible shoes. They're old lady shoes, aren't they? But apologies to anyone who's got any shoes like that and isn't an old lady, but they just that's what they made me think of. They're Marks and Spencer foot glove and they're real leather. And um, yeah, somebody will buy those, I'm sure. Um, with, now with the summer shoes, I'm starting to store them again because I tend to, because I have quite a big backlog of clothing and footwear to list i tend to list seasonally i don't pull down any listings i've already got of all the summer stuff that i've got up but i will um start start ugh, losing the ability to speak here i will start not listing the summer stuff and putting it into storage that i buy from now on probably and i'm concentrating more on getting autumn winter stuff listed now and um, I've got a lot of autumn winter stuff in storage to bring out. So, yeah, that's where. I'm. So these will probably get put away for next summer or next spring when I start listing spring summer stuff again. Next, these very strange looking shoes that look like they're made out of carpet almost. They're by a brand called Poetic License. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You might be able to. Um, and sorry, my... Um, squeaky chair it's really annoying isn't it I, don't, I assume you can hear that I don't know um yes it, they're a bit like irregular choice which is a well-known better known brand of shoes and these are kind of similar oh I've just had an offer of 120 pounds for something that's nice I don't know what it is but um yeah, that's nice um yes these sorry um distracted it's hard when you're live streaming by yourself you haven't got the other person to fall back on when you run out of words to fill in for you um yeah not sure how i'm enjoying it but let's carry on anyway yes poetic license anyway they're quite a well-known brand but not as well known as a regular choice but that sort of style of sort of slightly weird shoes so i don't know what they're worth i haven't looked them up yet but at 99p i was quite happy to take a chance on those Okay, another pair of Marks and Spencer sandals. These again are leather foot glove. I've sold this exact model of shoe, design of shoe, style of shoe even, um, twice already this summer. So I knew they were worth picking up. Um, they probably go, yeah, they're brand new, never been worn. So they will probably go for $14.99, I would think. These are sandals, ugly sandals ugly shoes and they are by joseph seibel well worth looking out for this brand it's quite an expensive brand again it's german and they sell really well these again look as though they really have very little wear at all not any marks on them so i'd probably shoot for maybe 30 on those next year i think yeah yes definitely and every time I move forward, this bloody chair squeaks. Oh, I've got some chat. Shall I have a look at that? I have to click off my screen. I can't see it. Oh, Pamela says, calm down, Caroline. It's only me. <laughs> Mini Million. Hi, Pamela. Um, Mini Millionaire says, it's open. It is indeed. The chat, I assume you mean. Um, Mr. Happy Dappy says, I can't hear this for some reason. Um, Amy's Field, Amis Field says, Caroline, really enjoying your live chat. Thanks, Ale. Thank you very much. Um, Emma says, hi, Caroline, just a quick question. Does the manager of the charity shop know you're a reseller? Thanks. Um, yes, she does. We don't talk about it. I say she does. We've never talked about it in any depth but she knows the sorts of things i buy it sometimes holds things back for me and yeah we have quite a good relationship like that she must know i've, I've we, we don't, my phone's actually ka when i've been in there before so yeah i'm pretty sure she knows but 
she she's focused on her business which is the charity shop and the amount of money that i spend in there she often says to me oh just says to other people and i come in oh it's caroline she's my best customer which is obviously really nice so um yeah um where are we oh mini millionaire said oh 120 pound off i have no idea what it's on i haven't got that many items at that level but i won't stop and look it up at the moment um les magic says great chat mrs m thank you very much and diana says i look great in this color well thank you very much diana that's very kind of you um right i've got two more pairs of shoes here before we move on to clothing i've got these boots pull on boots these are jane shilton and um lovely black leather and then suede up there and these have been worn the heels are worn but they're still in really nice condition and for 99p i certainly wasn't going to leave those behind i'm going to shoot for probably 26.99 something like that on those and then finally shoes wise although i'm thinking one of these i haven't actually unpacked these bags since i bought all the stuff on monday so it's going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you when i pull the stuff out june shoes um sparkly evening shoes june is a nice brand it's quite a sort of expensive end of the high street type brand um and although the style with these very strappy shoes is slightly dated now i think for evening type shoes you can get away with it more and i'm sure that if not before somewhere around christmas time somebody will pick those up again in beautiful condition hardly anywhere on those so yeah probably go for 18.99 on those possibly so maybe 17.99 right let's move on to clothes am i being very slow i feel like i'm chatting too much 12 minutes in okay i've got a tommy hilfiger men's shirt there um that's an xl i'm wondering if i should move back i think i'll move back a little bit then i'll be oh, I've just hit the wall um, I will be able to show you things better. Right, this. Oh, this is pretty. This is a coast dress and it's silk. Um, it's got some strappy thing going on with the neckline. I, yeah, it looks like that. The straps sort of feed through the back. And yeah, that's by Coast, which again is quite a nice high street label here in the UK. I don't think you can see that at all. Yes, you can now. Um, yeah, it's silk top line and then it's fully lined as well. That I would probably put on. Maybe it's mid calf, that I think. Yeah, sort of mid calf length. That one I would probably put on for $16.99. Um, oh, what else have we got in here? That is, it's a John Lewis um, big department store here in the UK. Nice sort of quality British brand. Um, cotton caftany thing the beach cover-up type thing again that one i'll probably keep for next summer but i would imagine that will go at probably 14.99 next summer spring summer um what else have we got in here bags upon bags a monsoon top with beaded neckline that's quite a big size i seem to remember yeah that's an 18 so um the bigger sizes always go quite nicely that's long sleeves and it's also got the beading around the wrists there um i don't know if i've said all the clothes are two pounds so everything you see here clothes wise is two pounds um yeah so that's that one then we've got a next jacket so 16 absolutely beautiful condition this looks as though it's never been worn um i don't know what that's made out of is it wool blend it's cotton blend and fully lined um two pounds that was definitely worth picking up next jackets jackets i find so the smart business type jackets office type things they do sell i find they sell quite slowly they sometimes take a while to shift but that will probably go for 12.99 plus postage but it might i might have to sit on it for a few months um we've got some more shoes in here those look at those i would have loved those when i was young and able to walk in such ridiculous shoes um peep toe what do they call shoe boots shoe boots and they're by love label which i think is an online brand i'm not sure i'd need to check that but again very stylish that sort of thing seems to sell quite quickly on ebay I don't know if it's the young girls buying them i would probably list those at maybe 11.99 plus postage um these are beautiful look at those i love those um they're miss selfridge they're not real leather but 
that thin heel in, in a contrasting colour is very in at the moment. I've seen Victoria Beckham in pictures in this sort of shoe of late a few times. So I um, thought those were worth picking up. Again, not too much wear, obviously. Quite often you see this with high heels. I think people buy them and then can't um, walk in them or something or they're uncomfortable, so they just get rid of them. So, yeah. Um, next, these are not brand new, but... Um, not very much wear on them. Sandals, peep toes, slingbacks, gold. What else have we got in here? Men's shirts. Again, another Tommy Hill figure. Men's shirts, the shirt, a short sleeve one. It looks like a crumpled rag at the moment because it's been in the carrier bag for ages since Monday. Right, what next? Gant, gaunt, gaunt, gant, never know. I was talking to Mike about how you pronounced this yesterday. I've no idea whether it's Gant or Gant. Anyway, men's striped shirt. Um, yes. Another bag I'm emptying here. My phone's ringing. Hang on. It's Mike. I'm going to answer it. I'm live streaming on the internet. Do I really need to talk to you right now? <laughs> Can I call you back in a bit? Cheers. Bye. <laughs> um, sorry about that. <laughs> right, this is a dress, a wrap dress, phase eight. Um, they sell this in House of Fraser and Debenhams department stores. I don't know if they have standalone stores, they have concessions. But um, it's quite a nice brand. I find it goes well. It's sort of your middle aged lady brand. Oh, that's probably me, isn't it? Um, not my particular type of style, but yeah. The wrap dresses, well, I've sold a couple of these recently. Sorry, I know it's difficult to say. Um, that I'll probably put on for $12.99 or $14.99. It's not in perfect condition, so probably, yeah. Um, right. Wallace. Lovely mustard. I love this mustardy colour. Um, Wallace, I find quite a slow brand to sell, surprisingly, because it's quite a popular brand, isn't it? Um, but jumper dresses, it's a sort of long, I don't know if it, yeah, it is a jumper dress. And I did really well with jumper dresses the last two winters. They were flying out as soon as I was listing them. So I thought, normally these days I tend to leave Wallace behind. But because it was a jumper dress, I thought I'd give it a go. Right, what next? Nearly at the end of the first bag of clothes. Uh, monsoon, that's a silk dress with an interesting neckline. Um, beading it's actually nicer than it's looking on the screen uh, sort of a dip back and it's silk so for two pounds Christmas time coming up you know well, we're not coming up I know it's only August but Christmas parties little black dress all that sort of thing bound to sell well and with this with it being silk as well I find 100% silk items do fly out quickly Right, we've got another jumper dress. This is a pink and blue stripe, and this is white stuff. Um, that's the little label there. White stuff, I think I've got something else. That is the newer style of label. Um, brands do change their labels, and I don't know if it's to make second-hand pieces less desirable, maybe, because people can tell that they're older. Um, same with the monsoon actually let me just show you that one that is the old style of monsoon label they now have a new style which is a more block writing this is the sort of squiggly writing and it's also on a beige background with gray writing this was the burgundy color um anyway yes white stuff and i think this must be the angora or something um lambswool angora and cashmere blend so yes very nice that one i will probably list this Nice condition as well, a little bit of bobbling down there, but I should get my bobbling machine on that. Um, yeah, I'll probably list that around 18.99, I should think, maybe even 19.99. What have we got here? We've got a Marks and Spencer dress, just a fairly simple jersey dress, beautiful condition. Um, not much to say about that one, really. I'd probably list that eleven ninety nine or twelve ninety nine plus shopping. Um, another jacket. We've got a Marks and Spencer size twenty jacket in this sort of tweedy fabric with the 
belt detail at the back. Um, again, as I said, jacket's quite slow to sell, but they do sell eventually. Um, this is another white stuff. Ah, yes, that's the white stuff. That's the old design of white stuff label there. I hope you you can see that. Um, but this dress, beautiful dress again, lovely quality, and um, white stuff is a real good seller for me. So, yeah, pleased with that one. Oh, God, God, I didn't realise I had so much. Honestly, it's ridiculous. Um, Oakley men's jacket. I don't know much about Oakley. They're sunglasses, aren't they, Oakley? I don't think I've ever bought a piece of Oakley clothing before, but it's in nice condition, and it was a brand I'd heard of. So for two quid, I thought it was worth it. It's also um, a big size. I think it's an X or 2X. So, um, yeah, I haven't looked that up yet, so I don't know what it would go for, but there's bound to be a profit in it. This is a beautifully soft jumper. Um, it's a 100% cashmere jumper. It's only a supermarket one. It's Tesco F&F, &F, which is Florence and Fred in Tesco's. Um, but it's lovely condition. And as I said, 100% cashmere. So I wouldn't normally pick up supermarket stuff unless it's one of the designer collaborations. I think Gok Wan did one with um, Sainsbury's two range of clothing. And that was quite popular. But um, because that was cashmere, I decided to take it by it. We're getting there, people. We're getting there. A lovely yellow dress. Do love yellow. Again, this is Marks and Spencer. It's just a fairly plain dress with some detailing on the waistline there. Fully lined. Um, yeah, that would probably go $14.99 plus post, maybe $12.99. Um, Rachel was talking about this in one of her videos I was watching last night. Um, Peruna large sizes of dresses. They do seem to fly out. I sold one. The other week in exactly the same design as this not the same fabric but the same design exactly and this is an 18 long um so yeah it was definitely was worth picking up this is it's wallace again um, it's a maxi dress and it's got ugh, some beading detail on the west waist there and I just kind of like the big purple swirly design. I sold a Wallace Maxi earlier this summer for quite good money. So I decided to pick that up as well. We're nearly there, nearly there. Evans, um, which is a ladies plus size brand. It's just a fairly plain top with a, is that butterflies or bows? Gold bows, I think, design. Um, I think it's a size 22 and it's quite a popular brand. And yeah, definitely that's worth buy, worth looking out for. In the larger size, I would say 20 upwards in Evans. They go up to a 32, I think. Um, definitely worth picking up. Right. Are we nearly there? Yes. Catherine Hamnett. I've not bought anything Catherine Hamnett for ages. I've not seen anything Catherine Hamnett for ages, but it's a T-shirt. Graphic T-shirt with, what does it even say? Use one. No idea if there's any money in that, but there usually is in Catherine Hamnett um, stuff. That's her little logo-y thing down at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, I haven't looked that up. And finally, finally, we've got to the end. I've picked up two pairs of men's Levi's. They are 751s, and they're in decent condition. They need a wash, but they're in decent condition. And that is it. I feel like I've talked a lot, just need some water. I've got 13 live viewers, that's exciting. Let me have another look at the chat then and see what everybody's saying. Um, Prairie Picking Girl signing in from Kansas. Wow, thank you very much. Kansas, that's epic. Really pleased about that. Um, Les Magic says, Tommy sells really well. What price would you be looking at for that shirt? Probably $12.99, $14.99 plus shipping. It wasn't in perfect condition, so maybe $12.99. Orchard Girl says, hi, Caroline. You're doing this brilliantly like a pro. I'm all right once I get going. Thank you. It was really kind of you to say that. But, yeah, once I get going, I'm okay. But, yeah, I was quite scared. Um, Diana says, do you find that certain brands, e.g. top shops, sell well internationally? To be honest, I don't sell an awful lot of clothes internationally at all. Um, I've, 
if, having said that, I sold a Metallica t-shirt to somebody in Germany on GSP only yesterday, but I rarely sell clothes abroad. Sometimes Laura Ashley goes to America or Australia, but um, offhand, no, I would say the majority of my shoe cl um, clothing items go within the UK. Um, Cora says, phase eight, they do have standalone stores. Oh, I remember you mentioning um, phase eight on the reselling group the other day, Cora. Yeah. Um, Helen used to work for them. Oh, right. Interesting. Ah. Um, and Cora says, Oakley are a surf brand. Yes. Um, sunglasses. They have those sporty looking sunglasses, don't they? Thank you very much for chatting, everybody, anyway. And um, I think I'm going to stop now because I desperately need to stop talking and tidy up that massive pile of stuff. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for tuning into my first live hall broadcast. I enjoyed it. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.